Whether you're out for fun, for work, or maybe for competitive reasons, there are always moments when many of us are looking for a bit more speed. It can seem like a fruitless endeavour at times, but it could be a few things that you're doing that's costing you a fair bit of speed. So in this video, we're going to list a few things that might be slowing you down that you might want to avoid in order to go faster than ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Short, sharp climbs are the nemesis of speed. Obviously, they're not as fast as a mountain descent, but we still love them. And if you're going to get up them as fast as possible, there are a few cheat codes you can employ to keep that speed high. The main one I'd say is to try not to think about what's ahead and ease up. You want to keep your speed, come into that climb as fast as possible. And then, once you're on the slope, it's all about maintaining that momentum and the speed you carry into it. Then it's all about gear choice. You're looking to select the right gear that's going to get you up the rest of the climb, minimizing any more gear changes. Because any time you do change gear, you have that momentary loss of power, which just means you have to start your effort again, costs you a bit of energy. So if you can select the right gear, stay in it, punch over those short climbs, Maintaining your pace is the best way to climb, keeping your speed as high as possible. Clothing can have a massive impact on your overall speed. And if you think about it, your body is a big thing that's hitting the wind. So you want it to be nice and aerodynamic. And if speed is the aim of the game, you want nice, tight-fitting cycling clothing. Avoid using a rain jacket to stay dry. Instead, opt for something that's going to slip through the wind a lot better. Obviously, a rain jacket is very useful when it's raining outside to keep you dry, but it's not very fast. And we want fast. Riding position makes a big difference to how well you can maintain your speed. And whilst riding on the tops can be comfortable, especially on climbs, if you're looking to go fast on the flat, you want to try and keep a low profile. So get down low on the drops if you can, you to bend your arms and get your head out of the wind. Tuck as low as you can. If you do struggle with this, I'd recommend raising your bars a bit or perhaps even looking at your saddle angle, your seat height, making sure that saddle angle is in the right position, maybe slightly pointing a bit down or getting that nose flat at least so you open your hips out and you're able to maintain that low position. Definitely helps when it comes Get on drops, staying fast for long periods of time. Or is it your bike that's slowing you down? Now, I'm not going to go and suggest that you buy a new bike because that's not the answer. You need to make sure that your bike is in tip-top riding condition. You want to have your chain, your drivetrain, well lubed and clean. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. That is going to save you a ton of watts. And also having brakes that are dialed in, squeak-free, is going to give you that bit extra confidence on the descents to push on a bit harder. But also having a bike that's cleaned, everything's greased, all the bolts are done up correctly, is going to give you that that confidence and motivation that none of your effort is going to waste so you can ride that little bit faster. As we said earlier, climbs are the arch nemesis at speed, but there is often a place on a climb that is overlooked when it comes to speed. And when we're climbing, we can often get in the mindset of climbing really hard and going as hard as we can. Then we get to the crest of the climb and we kind of ease up and recover a little bit. And carry on at the speed that we rode the climb on but that crest is very important that's where you can actually gain a lot of speed take it a little bit easier on the climb then when you get to the crest put in a bit of an effort up the gears and away you go get up that average speed and then you can ease off once it's done Whew. tire pressure can have a huge impact on your overall speed and getting it wrong either too much or too little can really cost you a few kilometers an hour. Get your tire pressure too low and you'll feel like you're sticking to the road, you'll increase your rolling resistance. Too high and you'll start to feel every single vibration wherever you're riding, which actually wastes energy. It may feel fast, but it's gonna increase your muscle fatigue and both low and high will cost you speed. 
Tire pressure is a very individual thing. It's based on things like rider weight, the tires you're using, and the road conditions that you're riding on. And if you are confused, sponsor the channel Silka have a very handy tool on their website, which allows you to put in a wide variety of metrics and give you a pretty accurate reading of what tire pressure you should be running based on the setup you're riding, which hopefully give you a bit of extra speed. Yeah, let us know a few things you might have experienced in the past that you've suddenly realized have been slowing you down on this bike the whole time. As always though, my, you know what to legs. do. My legs are so mean. My leg, yeah, my legs <laughs> and my obsession with eating. Yeah, same. Oh, it well. is tough to you know, stop at a cafe every two kilometers. Mm. It does slow your ride down a bit. But as always, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and... We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>